welcoming you to the most informative, highly reliable platform when it comes to COVID-19 nationally and as far as our states, it's concerned. Good morning. I remain your street. The Mayor Isaac Brown welcoming you to a very special edition of Fresh FM COVID-19 Situation Room with His Excellency, the Executive Governor of our, their states. Uh, Governor Shimakide is already live in the building. Your Excellency, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, you know, uh, Mayor. Uh, <clears throat> how, how, how are you today? I'm all right. Uh, when you heard the voice of your governor, you should be fired up. <laughs> we are fired up in the studio. Good to have you here at uh, the Fresh FM Situation Room. Hello, sir. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Uh, Let, let's go straight away to the business of the day, which is to bring our people up to speed as to get where things stand when it comes to the management of COVID-19 uh, issue in other states, the pandemic. Let me start by asking you that a uh, few hours ago, I mean, a few days ago, uh, you made some far-reaching decisions, uh, one of which is you've asked workers in your state, especially those in the top kida of level 13 upward to resume work while appreciating your efforts at ramping up tests in the state with your drive through walk through initiatives at, at Damasinga. Critics have said for a state of almost 7.6 7 million people that as we speak this morning, as only tested as I yesterday, only 610 of its populace. A state that has recorded two fatalities, one of which was actually recorded last night. We have eight active cases, 21 for confirmed cases in all, including just yesterday, three new cases. Critics have said your decision asking a cadre of workers to resume work today, Monday, in the midst of all this, is not only hasty, but reckless and dangerous your take sir uh, well uh, uh, you know we have to strike a balance uh, between two things uh, the physical health of the people of Royal state and the economic uh, health of, of the state uh, the Royal state economy you know uh, for now, is highly dependent uh, on the secretariat functioning. This is a civil servant uh, 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 state, so to say. So that's why we have asked just a few workers to resume uh, to keep the secretariat uh, functional. But we also put uh, protocols in place you know, uh, to ensure that uh, they can work uh, safely. I mean, the, the normal population for the secretary has been about uh, 15 to 20,000 people, uh, uh, workers. But now we, we've asked only 3,000 of them to review. And those 3,000 are the ones with separate offices. Uh, uh, I was reading in the Tribune this morning uh, a comment by my very good uh, friend, uh, Professor. I didn't know I can do. You know, saying, oh, maybe we shouldn't uh, uh, open up the, uh, the secretariat and that the senior cadre of workers, you know, may not be able to function without the junior one. And uh, I've not spoken to him. I will later on today. Uh, but the bottom line is we paid uh, some uh, salary, you know, uh, 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 on the 24th, last Friday. Those... Uh, uh, payments are uh, processed by some people. So they, they have gone to uh, 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 the office to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, the vouchers uh, were prepared and approved on time. So you have to keep uh, 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 the economy going and also strike a balance between uh, 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 the economic health and the uh, uh, 
the physical health of the of the people. So I don't think it's reckless. This is uh, based on uh, 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 us engaging uh, uh, with uh, the uh, the experts. Yes, you, since you mentioned uh, Professor Adi Luakondi, I, I must also tell you that the point you just raised now, uh, it's also been said that the senior Kedia that you have asked to resume, most of them, some of them, we're also getting, because you have directed they should be involved in virtual uh, communication uh, moving forward. It's been said some of them probably are not even computer savvy, and that some of them cannot even do uh, the, 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 the online communication that you are talking about without having junior workers with them. Your take on that, sir? Well, uh, let me uh, make a correction in the uh, idea. Mm -hmm. I did not say that civil servants who will resume will conduct uh, business online. No, I said meetings. Meetings, will be yes. Held online. Mm -hmm. Meetings will be held online. Mm -hmm. The senior officers will have to manage, you know, without uh, their junior colleagues. You know, that is part of the sacrifices uh, that we all uh, need uh, to make at this time. Can you also make a clarification? You, you, you just said now that you're, you're, those that you have asked to resume at the Secretariat uh, are senior staffs of uh, that. Okay, there. But we're also getting reports. Level 13. Level 13 and, and above, yeah. Can you make clarification? We're also getting reports that uh, management of or your state owned tertiary institutions have also asked their senior staff to resume, despite the fact that schools in the state are still closed. Well, I will talk to the Commissioner for uh, Education. They mm. cannot resume uh, right now because uh, the students uh, are at home. So, uh, uh, maybe some of them uh, they like to resume to have uh, access to their running uh, running course. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll we'll deal with it, uh, uh, Isaac. Yeah, we'll still stick with uh, the secretary matter because you, uh, uh, since uh, you've. Uh, uh, expansionated on needs. Critics have also said that uh, enforcing movement in and out of the Secretariat as from today may be an equivalent task uh, and that uh, instead of COVID-19 transmission due to mass movement in and out of the Secretariat may be a possibility. Your take on that, sir? Uh, sorry, I actually missed, uh, I missed uh, that from you. You said that uh, how are we going to enforce uh, movement in and out of secretariat? Because people are saying it's going to be an equivalent task. task. Uh, COVID-19 transmission due to mass movement in and out of secretariat may be a possibility. How do you enforce that? Knowing fully where what has played out in markets, what has played out even during the, during the partial lockdown that you heard that? Well, uh, uh, we, uh, we put certain... Uh, uh, protocol in place uh, for, you know, uh, workers coming into the uh, Secretariat. Uh, the, the, only the main gate, you know, will be used uh, for entrance and exit. Uh, the other gate uh, will remain uh, locked. And uh, because uh, we're not, uh, we're having very limited uh, uh, number of, uh, uh, you know, staff resuming, uh, uh, we don't think uh, he'll be an accident. Uh, what about visitors? This, uh, Sorry to button. What uh, about visitors coming in to see them? Are you placing an yeah, embargo? Visitors, uh, we, uh, visitors will only be allowed uh, only when it is absolutely necessary. If you if you don't have uh, you know any uh, serious thing to do uh, at the secretariat, we don't expect you to uh, to come. And if you do. Uh, uh, the protocol uh, is that uh, they will need to contact whoever you are going to, and uh, 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 it's only those people that can clear you. Hmm. So you, you are showing us you have, you have put stringent measure when it comes to movement in and out of the secretariat this period that you have ordered workers to resume. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, I do. Uh, uh, we are 
very confident, you know, about uh, the measures that we put in place, and we are very uh, sure that uh, this uh, will work. Um, uh, I received uh, also uh, uh, a text message, you know, this morning from uh, uh, the uh, Khan president, you know, uh, and I said that we will discuss uh, 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 this issue much later uh, 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 today because uh, some of the things that we put in place, people haven't uh, uh, seen it, but uh, uh, we'll keep uh, uh, the uh, enlightenment uh, going so that, uh, um, uh, you know, we can all uh, uh, get aligned in, uh, uh, in the same direction. In the United States of America, one of the conditions uh, that uh, states open to resume business activities, uh, one of them is the ability of such states to, one, scientifically ascertain that it has not only reached the peak of infection, but also a 14-day downward trajectory in new cases and symptoms. Even though people are commending you based on the fact that you have a target of 10,000 tests, uh, as far as this state is concerned. But the question people are also asking is, will you say, sir, this morning, that your state has reached the peak of your COVID-19 infection based on the fact that we just tested 610 people? Can we even be talking about a curve, not to talk of a 14-day downward trajectory where hospitalization, incubation, you know, cases must be coming down? The fact that you have asked people to go back to work this morning, do you think this well, condition I just mentioned has been met in the States? Well, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the technical details you know, to the expert, uh, Isaac. <clears throat> but, um, uh, be assured that uh, our decisions are based on expert advice. I mean, don't forget that the Ohio State COVID-19 task force is made up of, uh, uh, you know, several professors, epidemiologists, uh, biologists, uh, you know, uh, and people uh, with background in the public health. So, uh, as I've often said, we have to find a local uh, solution to our problem. Uh, uh, you can't keep saying, make a reference, oh, this is... Uh, the United States of America, how about other parts of the world? You have to compare uh, uh, those, you know, what people have done right. Uh, America uh, should uh, just be uh, uh, made uh, the reference uh, point because there are other places around the world that are even doing far better than America right now. So we should only borrow uh, things that uh, will work for us. And that can come from any part or any corner of the world. Your, 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 from, uh, your Excellency. It can come from uh, as, as near as uh, Ghana. Ghana has just uh, lifted uh, uh, their lockdown. They are uh, moving on with their, with, uh, 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 their lives. I'll be your, your Excellency, I, I think uh, even without referring to U.S., uh, the idea that uh, it's safer for you to begin to open up gradually, when you are convinced you have gotten to the peak of cases in your state or in your country seems logical. So the, I'm just saying, if we've only tested 610, have we gotten to the peak for us to take decision we have just taken, asking workers to resume today? We are still testing. Your target is 10,000. Yes, we'll, we'll keep on uh, testing. This is not uh, going to be going away. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, yesterday. And that is uh, exactly what I've been telling uh, a lot of uh, people. That well, okay, you're giving politics uh, 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 out. Uh, you're saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is uh, the direction that uh, you want to uh, you want to go in a manner that uh, uh, is suggestive of uh, uh, you know flipping uh, uh, a switch, you know, on or off. No, it's not going to go. Uh, that way, I think you we need to even look at this in terms of uh, 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 you know like dimmers where you can 
uh, uh, the north and the light may be uh, uh, bright or, uh, or uh, uh, you may uh, turn down the, uh, uh, the, oh, the light may dim. So, exactly. So uh, you were in this for a long, a long, uh, a long uh, hour, and our output should not be. Uh, uh, you know, uh, like flipping a switch. Our approach must be, you know, this is going to be with us for uh, for a while. Hmm. And that is exactly what we're doing. I mean, cautiously, we are going uh, uh, out to say, look, let this category of people, let them resume. Let uh, the market resume with uh, certain conditions. Uh, let uh, uh, the uh, uh, farmers, let them, uh, you know, take advantage of this uh, uh, planting season. Once I'm done now, I'm uh, uh, going to, uh, uh, for, you know, to see what is being done uh, uh, at a farm settlement out there. So uh, this is uh, we, we all better, you know, uh, know that this is going to be with us for some time. Can you confirm to us this morning uh, where we are when it comes to transmission of? Uh, COVID-19 in our state. Uh, are, are we still at a point where uh, it's still all about um, folks with uh, travel history, folks that have been exposed to those that have traveled, or has been touted? Are we experiencing community transmission yet? Well, from uh, uh, you know, discussions with the experts with uh, a virologist, I mean, I have to use this opportunity to uh, thank uh, all the members of the, uh, the task force uh, because uh, uh, they have uh, been using, you know, uh, their time to serve the people over here. It's with no compensation uh, at all, you know, up until this, uh, uh, this uh, moment. So what uh, we're seeing is uh, uh, almost uh, a person-to-person uh, uh, transmission. Of course, they still have to do uh, uh, a lot more uh, research. Mm. And uh, uh, even experts all over the world, what they have said is, uh, I mean, this is a uh, it, it has never happened before, and uh, uh, it's an uncharted territory. So we have to keep on uh, 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 filling our way until uh, uh, we're able to get uh, a total handle on this. Are you not worried, Your Excellency? Uh, if you look at the case of uh, the uh, fatality, the Kano individual, uh, his case seems to have thrown a lot of questions. And uh, one of them has to do with the idea of asking people to self isolate uh, once they are suspected uh, of having uh, COVID 19. Uh, and usually, the protocol here has always been okay, stay in your home. Samples are collected and the test conducted before the results come out. Usually, we have seen people don't honor what they've been told to do. While they're supposed to be isolating at home, they begin to move from one place to the other, spreading this ailment. So, are you thinking that the protocol of asking suspected individuals, especially when uh, they are still awaiting the results of their test? Uh, to ask them to stay at home, uh, are you not worried that people are not aligning, people are not obeying, are they to those instructions, and they are going about going to private clinics? Do we need to change that protocol? Uh, well, I, I don't think we need to change that protocol, Isaac. Uh, uh, the, the way uh, things are set up right now, because when you are actually in between, uh, a hard, the rock and a hard place. Hmm. You have to, uh, you know, move uh, uh, cautiously. Uh, if you, we don't have the resources to say, look, if you've been exposed to uh, uh, a COVID-19 uh, a positive uh, patient, then, you know, uh, we should take you and uh, uh, clamp in, a, in an uh, uh, isolation center. center. Hmm. Yeah, for instance, I mean, I tested positive and all my close uh, associates, you know, uh, my close, uh, my, the, the closest people to me, they were all tested. It's not there. And out of the testing, only one 
you know, came out uh, uh, positive. So if we've uh, taken all the testing to some isolation place, you know, uh, uh, are you not uh, breathing a uh, infection? And uh, again, uh, uh, I read this at the Nigerian doctor's store, and they got said, well, we we went out there and took, uh, uh, you know, a big hotel uh, with uh, individual rooms. You know, for us in New State, we don't have that resource, so we have to uh, ensure that uh, we, we we properly uh, tie our resources, you know, to uh, put them and resolve. Hmm. Hmm. So the, the, does it mean costs that are being made for more isolation centers, uh, more testing centers outside Ibadan? Even suggestion about uh, the virology uh, unit in Lautec uh, College of Science being upgraded. Y- is, that something, is it something you are looking at? Or is it something, as we speak, our resources cannot accommodate? I got, uh, I got that uh, uh, message you know, from, uh, I think, maybe the uh, Nigerian Medical Association, uh, Lautec uh, University chapter. See, um, uh, COVID-19 is not uh, something that uh, uh, is uh, uh, tied to, you know, uh, zones or uh, uh, geographical uh, 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 spread. Hmm. When this whole thing first uh, broke in Nigeria, the protocol was that anybody from uh, anywhere in the southwest should be taken to Lagos, mm. right? Yes. Because that was the only place with uh, 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 an isolation uh, center uh, at that time. But between then and now, you know, several states have uh, gotten their own uh, isolation centers. They've also been able to uh, put in place their diagnostic centers and things like that. So uh, you can't just say, oh, uh, uh, because uh, uh, Bumasha is uh, uh, two hours from uh, Ibadan. You can take samples in there and uh, 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 bring people uh, to uh, the infectious disease center uh, at uh, Ibadan. We, have, we do have uh, an isolation center that uh, they're working on now at uh, Bumasha. We're going to have one at uh, Shaki and one at uh, Igora as well. Uh, you know, but you're faced with a pandemic and you also have the economic uh, challenge. So you have to uh, try and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, work in between such that uh, uh, the most efficient way, you know, to tackle uh, uh, the problem uh, is uh, adopted. Hmm. Hmm. Can you tell us uh, this morning, uh, I'm sure you want to also commend them, uh, the health workers, doctors, nurses, uh, they are at the front line, uh, day in, day out, trying to make me and you safe, sir. Uh, they, will you say these health workers in the States, do they have the PPE they need to have uh, to protect them while they are working, knowing fully well that uh, we are getting a spike in the um, infection of some of them and uh, had their plans by our state government or as i speak uh do you have improved condition of service for some of these uh health workers who are currently on the front line of this fight in the state well i will use this opportunity to uh really thank uh, uh our front line uh, health workers they are doing uh, they're doing uh, uh, very well. Uh, we don't have, uh, uh, you know, uh, all the PPEs uh, that they require. It's just uh, the fact. But uh, 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 the ones that we have, uh, uh, we are, you know, distributing them efficiently. And uh, uh, we are also uh, uh, having a discussion uh, regarding uh, uh, how we can make uh, uh, this uh, locally. Mm. So uh, my my special advisor on, uh, on, on health uh, is doing a research right now. Mm. Uh, uh, they 
there, there are places around the world where now they use they have the reusable uh, type of uh, PPEs, you know. And uh, once we get all the details, you know, we can uh, uh, get a few of our people together to uh, see how this can be manufactured uh, locally. You know, this is uh, going to be one of the uh, 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 one of the benefits. You know, mm. from uh, this uh, uh, pandemic, you know, you need to uh, look inward, try to develop uh, your uh, uh, local uh, uh, capabilities. You know, so uh, that is uh, uh, one of the things we're looking at as far as uh, PPE for our frontline. Uh, uh, In terms of the warfare, are, are you? Also, I'm sure that one is within your power. Yeah, in terms of, well, in terms of the warfare. Uh, uh, I've just approved uh, 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 a package for them, you know, Good. for both the volunteers and the people that have been uh, seconded. And uh, 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 we are not uh, uh, making it uh, uh, a hardship uh, uh, posting for them. Good. We are uh, trying our best. We did the resources that are available uh, to us. The last time we spoke, uh, you, you raised something that uh, it appears, if me personally, and the science community uh, seem to align with, uh, you know, basically. You, you said you are open to the possibility of walling off any community in your state where there is a noticeable, consistent outbreak of new cases. If we look at where things stand now, it appears... At number 21 that we have found ourselves in terms of uh, cases of COVID-19. I'm trying to break the data down. Majority of those cases are from Ibadan. Majority appears to be much more in Ibadan North and usage. Is walling off Ibadan as a city? Is walling off Ibadan North on your table? Is there a possibility? Yeah, it's a possibility. Uh, 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 the uh, three additional cases uh, that uh, came up uh, uh, and uh, the fatality uh, mm. that occurred uh, in the past uh, 24 hours, you know, all are from UCH. You know, uh, I uh, discussed with the CMD of uh, UCH. Um, yes, I, I felt... Uh, they have been a little bit uh, defensive, but uh, 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 they don't manufacture those people. Uh, the UCH is, uh, 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 is a tertiary uh, uh, hospital. So people will come from, you know, uh, all sorts of places uh, to uh, come in there. But uh, the fact still remains that uh, uh, most of uh, what, uh, uh, almost 50% now, of the cases in our state, you know, can be directly linked to uh, youth. And uh, uh, we are uh, discussing, you know, what are the uh, actions that uh, we can take, you know, to uh, address uh, those, uh, 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 you know, issues out there. Will, will, so, will, will you wall will, off Ibadan? Will, will you wall off Ibadan? You have 21 wall. cases in Ibadan. Will you wall off Ibadan? Prevent folks from moving to, from, to prevent this spread into other towns in the state if this trend continues? Well, well, well if, if you, if you uh, have uh, if you can say, you know, uh, uh, 100% that, uh, look, this community, uh, let's say, you met the community mm. or uh, idea your community mm. or, you know, uh, uh, some other communities like that. If we can uh, uh, see, you know, how the virus is behaving in that uh, community uh, and uh, 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 we have to lock uh, or wall off that community, we will definitely do it mm. until we, we mm. get uh, uh, mm. control over what is the uh, uh, going on with the uh, with the virus in that uh, community. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, that's a good one. You, you just mentioned the CMD UCH. Now, uh, there's been a lot of talk about the fact that there are misunderstanding uh, between the government and uh, UCH. Where, where does things stand now as regards smoothing of edges? 
uh, with uh, uh, well, you know, uh, our people will always say that uh, uh, you can't be friends, you know, for 25 years without uh, uh, friction. You know, mm. uh, the question is not whether there is friction, but whether it is results. So we have friction. You know, we look at things from uh, uh, different uh, angles, and then uh, 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 from the uh, uh, Minister of, uh, uh, you know, uh, they have sent a letter to uh, all the uh, 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 all the tertiary uh, uh, tertiary uh, into the the, the uh, ethical arm of those tertiary institutions, you know, to work with the state uh, government uh, in addressing uh, uh, this uh, pandemic. So. Uh, apart from us, you know, reaching out to uh, 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 to usage management, we're asking them to bring uh, somebody, you know, that will represent the management on the COVID-19 uh, uh, task force in uh, your state. Uh, we're also uh, asking them to work with uh, uh, our commissioner for health, you know, to uh, uh, sort of... Uh, an acquisition team, you know, towards uh, uh, acquisition of isolation to treatment centers uh, in the state. So the line of communication between your state government and UCH is fantastic now? Well, it may not be fantastic, but at least uh, uh, it's open and uh, we're being uh, brutally frank with ourselves. Let's go straight away to the, your quarantine guidelines, which rolled out several weeks back. Uh, there seem to be uh, laxity in enforcement. Uh, people still move in droves in the markets. Uh, you could go to Ojo, uh, you could go to Bodija, Dube. As we speak, non-essential businesses are still functioning. Folks selling clothes, shoes, phones, everywhere. When you look at the transport sector, you, your guideline... Uh, quarantine guideline was quite clear no overloading uh, but you see here uh, Keke, Nape, Maruwa uh, Okada, folks are still carrying you know, passenger more than the directive you gave uh, even the coffee of 7pm in some couple of areas you could still see uh, no adherence are you not worried sir that this non-challenge attitude towards your directive uh, which may create public danger in terms of health uh, has to come with an enforcement in terms of compliance. What are you doing towards ensuring your quarantine guidelines are strictly adhered to, sir? Well, uh, uh, we we noticed, uh, you know, some of these things that you mentioned uh, uh, and uh, our uh, enlightenment, you know, uh, uh, has to be beaten. That is, uh, 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 you know, letting people know that uh, uh, we're asking them to do these things for themselves, you know, and the others around them. We don't want to, uh, you know, keep uh, losing people. We don't want, uh, 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 you know, uh, more lives to be lost here. So, mm. uh, we have to keep, uh, you know, engaging the people. Uh, when uh, compliance is voluntary, then you, uh, uh, we're all actually better off. And the only way uh, compliance will become uh, at least uh, more, uh, uh, largely uh, uh, the way that uh, uh, compliance will be, you know, largely voluntary. Is when people are enlightened, when they are educated, when they know precisely, you know, uh, uh, what uh, uh, they're supposed to be doing to protect themselves, protect their family, and protect, you know, uh, the rest of us. So, uh, just say, well, uh, 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 get uh, 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 people out there, get the police out there, or get, uh, you know, security agencies out there, and let them uh, uh, post this. You don't even have enough. <laughs> we, we don't have enough uh, uh, hands, you know, within this uh, uh, security agency to, uh, 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 to enforce a compliance. So, 
what we have to do is, uh, you know, keep appealing to the people. <laughs> <laughs> keep appealing to our people, right? Yeah, exactly. And then uh, we're, we also intend to use the uh, technology. I've said uh, uh, to our people to um, uh, to get to the telecom uh, uh, operators. Anyone that uh, has been asked to self isolate, they monitor uh, their movements. Of course, uh, uh, there are uh, legal challenges uh, out there which have to be surmounted as well. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, there have to be uh, 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 commercial discussions also, you know, with uh, the telecom uh, operators uh, to put this uh, uh, in place. But yes, we're exploring every avenue, you know, that uh, will ensure that, uh, you know, our people are not uh, uh, put at risk. I, I'm on the same page with you uh, on that one, because I, I know in some uh, states out there, you know, uh, in Europe, uh, the fact that when people are told to self-isolate and they don't, what they do, just like police state, they collect, they seize their phones, go through uh, their conversation, track through their phone logs, who and who they have met. Some even went to their sort of seizing uh, credit card to no form of transaction. They have actually made when people refuse to heed simple advice uh, to stay at home. Uh, away from that, uh, the fact that you are also a survivor of this virus, uh, you have called for local approach at finding lasting solution uh, at combating COVID-19 by looking inward at natural remedies which are peculiar to us here. Could you tell us this morning, any progress? Uh, because I know you are passionate about that. Uh, any progress along that? Yeah. Um, uh, we we are making a, a progress uh, um, in, uh, at the University of Ibadan. Yeah, they've written to us, I think, uh, we've had the first uh, uh, engagement uh, meeting with them. Um, uh, you know, certain things we know uh, have worked uh, so far, which is uh, uh, try as much as possible, you know, to wash your hand as uh, many times as possible. You don't need uh, uh, anyone to, you know, uh, uh, to, push, to push you, you know, to be able to do that. So the things from you guys, uh, uh, all the things suggested, you know, the... Uh, uh, local uh, natural uh, remedies, local, right? Local, yes, yes. Those, uh, yeah, the natural remedies. We have a discussion with them, and uh, uh, because uh, for me, I saw a lot of difference when uh, I actually started taking uh, those uh, uh, immune uh, 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 boosters. You know, like uh, like I mentioned, uh, 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 black seed oil. Black seed oil. When you taste it. You can see the metallic, uh, 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 you know, you can taste uh, that, uh, uh, you can have that metallic taste in it. And the carrot and, you uh, took, uh, and the vitamin C. Well, I do carrot, I, I do carrot as well. I understand carrot also has uh, carotene in it. Carotene, uh, yes. Uh, the black seed oil got that thing. And uh, I've been reading it, you know, uh, uh, of course, uh, when you're in this uh, situation, everybody... Uh, will turn uh, to be a, a, a research uh, <laughs> uh, scholar. So scholar. we do a lot of research also. So you, you, and prefer the zinc. Zinc, uh, if it goes into the cell, you know, uh, it actually prevent the virus from entering the cell. So uh, there are all kind of things uh, out there. But, but uh, the expert, you mm -hmm. know, the professors of uh, uh, virology, uh, uh, the professors of uh, Epidemiology, they all are, you know, uh, uh, pulling together to uh, make uh, some sense, you know, out of all the information that we have. So you, you are open, f you are open to an homegrown solution? Uh, what I can say really is that uh, 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 I don't believe that if the solution doesn't come from America or the West or uh, uh, the East, that we, we cannot have a solution. Yeah, it will take uh, quite uh, a bit to have it proven. You know, you uh, take those things into uh, the World Medical Journal. You have a process, you know, mm. uh, through uh, 
or maybe World Health Organization and all of that. Certification. It's, it's, a, it's a long process. A long process. Mm. It doesn't mean that uh, 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 we cannot find uh, uh, a solution from this uh, part of the world. You spoke about distribution of palliative to poorest of the poor. And uh, there has been talk of lockdown during the likely lockdown during the dispute. Can, can you uh, be uh, exact this morning? When will the palliative distribution be done? And uh, will you also confirm that uh, during the distribution, there will be restriction of movement? Well, uh, the distribution of uh, movement uh, this week. Um, uh, and the, the, the distribution will be done uh, uh, simultaneously in all the government areas in the state until you know, all the 120,000 households, you know, which we identified have received you know, their quality. Um, I personally, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I was calling uh, some of the people myself yesterday because I wanted to uh, confirm, uh, you know, if uh, the data that uh, uh, if there's any kind of uh, coloration, you know, to this uh, to the data. Uh, I started from uh, 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 Shaki uh, East Shaki uh, West and the Atizwo uh, federal constituency, um, and then uh, I moved to. Uh, Along she go, you have to know the local federal constituents. Out of the 14 federal constituents, we have been able to at least uh, have an idea, you know, uh, who those uh, people are. And uh, quite frankly, uh, there's a shocking revelation from uh, those calls uh, um, about uh, about uh, maybe 40 percent of the people that uh, uh, I spoke to. Uh, were farmers, and you know they told me, yeah, uh, it's good for you to send us uh, this uh, palliative, but uh, the real palliative that we want you to send us is uh, to help us uh, uh, to get to the farm, give us seedlings, give us, uh, uh, you know, assist us, uh, uh, you know, in clearing our land, and then, uh, uh, you know, we're ready to go uh, out there. So there will be. A second, uh, you know, set of palettes uh, designed, you know, uh, and targeted uh, towards uh, the farmers and mm. towards, uh, 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 you know, boosting our economy. So uh, those palettes uh, uh, will go out, uh, as I said, uh, 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 this week. You, you did not, you did not address whether there will be restrictions when the simultaneous distribution will be done. Will there be restrictions, sir? No, there, there, there will not be any. Well, we discussed it because uh, I, I knew where this came from. The Honorable Commissioner for Special Duty, I think, uh, came on the uh, came on the uh, 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 on the radio. Mm. Uh, they held a discussion in their own committee, mm. which is uh, the committee to distribute their palettes, and they felt okay uh, uh, to check uh, hoodlums and all of that. You know, you may need to lock down. So that uh, people are not able to move around and disrupt, uh, you know, distribution. I jack, I jack the trucks. Hmm. Yes, I, I, uh, uh, I really don't buy into that. I uh, believe that uh, uh, our people will be orderly, and we will uh, uh, do it in such a way that uh, the target, the targeted people, you know, will. Uh, Receive their palliative. I'm, I'm happy to hear from you. Yeah, you did a fact check on your own, on the names that were given to you, and you found out that uh, majority you spoke with are real people, poor people. But there are also on the latter hand, people are saying since uh, long this partial lockdown began, people that were not poor before are now poor as I speak, and maybe they were not captured. Well, uh, uh, uh. Last week Friday, we paid 11 billion mm. you know, as a worker salary uh, for uh, state workers, the local government workers, the teachers, everybody. You know, uh, will you consider uh, them as uh, uh, poor? 
will you consider uh, uh, the people that have received their salaries, you know, on the 25th as uh, the people needing palliatives? Absolutely not. Exactly. So, uh, uh, we said the government will give everyone in need, you know, something, but that is just not possible. So, mm. uh, what we did was uh, we identified 90,000 uh, uh, households as being poorest of the poor, and we've added uh, another uh, 30,000 households as vulnerable. Mm. And of course, uh, uh, what we're doing by uh, trying to open up the economy is uh, for uh, those who can earn a living, you know, to be able to go out in a, in a, uh, uh, in a safe uh, manner, you know, to earn a living. Your government has been criticized for rejecting the federal government 1,800 uh, bags of rice uh, that, uh, given to you by custom. Will you make clarification on where things stand as to get the rice? Well, uh, you know, uh, as I said earlier, we are distributing policies this week, and our plan has been to include the rice, you know, which we receive from the federal government through the Nigerian Custom uh, Service as part of uh, you know, uh, the, the policies to be distributed. Of course, we check uh, everything we receive uh, before distribution. Uh, an examination of the rice show that uh, it was uh, invested with uh, weevils and some feet for human consumption. Mm. It, it, I mean, it was only logical that uh, we report this uh, to the people of Boya State. Mm. In fact, when uh, uh, we made this uh, uh, discovery, I called the governor of Ekiti State, who is the chairman of Nigerian uh, Governors Forum, you know, uh, uh, to find out if uh, the same problem uh, uh, you know, exists uh, in, 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 in his own state uh, or whether this was limited to our state. And they confirmed to me that uh, they had the same uh, problem with the mm -hmm. rights, uh, you know, that they received. Uh, even reading uh, the newspaper this morning, uh, I saw that the local government also uh, uh, said that they had a similar problem and they will be returning uh, this uh, They'll be returning uh, there also. But, um, and since we're not uh, distributing the right, we have to return it uh, to them. I, I mean, I won't spend a lot of money uh, uh, to get rid of uh, uh, rights since I cut them. So they should uh, uh, find the means to destroy it by themselves. I mean, they should, mm. they should do this in the first instance. So... Uh, I really don't get uh, 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 the uh, criticism. So are they saying, stop criticizing us, are they saying that uh, we should uh, uh, precipitate another problem, you know, you said, by giving people a uh, 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 right uh, that is not fit for consumption? Mm. 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 Uh, Your Excellency, since this pandemic partial lockdown. I'm sure you must have gotten a report as the chief security officer of the state. There has been upsurging uh, crime-related uh, incidents. Uh, folks can barely sleep at night in most communities. Uh, vigilante everywhere. Uh, people burning tires to protect themselves in their neighborhood. Uh, will you assure the people of your state? Uh, what are you actually doing uh, towards ensuring that um, this social tension occasioned by this ongoing uh, uh, pandemic, partial lockdown, uh, that uh, your government will ensure that uh, you put a stop to these seemingly criminalities in our community? Well, um, as a security is one of the four pillars of our administration. And we have uh, continuously uh, uh, dedicated uh, uh, resources to this sector. You know, we continue to work closely with the security agencies in the state to ensure that uh, our people enjoy a relative uh, uh, peace. Uh, one of the complaints, you know, we have received from the security agencies is a uh, false alarm regarding uh, this just call. I think, uh, I mean, I, I, I uh, really won't want to point their fingers uh, but most calls, please, uh, through our dedicated emergency uh, toll-free number, uh, 615, turn out to be false alarms or frivolous. Uh, 
so the danger is that the security people are uh, then they, they are unable to reach those who really need their help. Hmm. Uh, I uh, for the past two days now, I've gone out uh, at uh, 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 midnight, one a.m. to see you know what uh, going on with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, security. Uh, 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 architecture. I was at Yoruba uh, uh, the other day, and uh, uh, you know all the folks were were out. And uh, uh, from yesterday, we've been able to uh, place a uh, security uh, vehicle, uh, you know, to uh, patrol uh, that uh, uh, area. So the only thing I want to, uh, the only appeal. You know, uh, I want to ask from our people is please only call 615 in an emergency so that the security agencies can be more effective in executing their duties. Uh, if uh, 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 people, I mean, uh, they forwarded uh, something to me uh, or somebody said uh, uh, right now in front of uh, uh, my office in uh, Iwuro, people, there are robbers in there. And we found out, uh, and then the individual who sent that out said, well, uh, he or she had moved from that place, you know, and relocated to uh, 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 to somewhere along the, around the college prison. And uh, the individual also said, uh, he or she, you know, uh, is the copper. So you're now wondering, you know, how uh, possible is it for a copper to leave uh, a world road? Just because of arm robbers, you know, uh, and uh, uh, he or she has now relocated to Connect uh, Christian. So uh, I want to beg even the opposition. This is not how to play uh, a politics of opposition. Uh, when you, we want an economy uh, that uh, uh, investors will have confidence uh, uh, in. It's not by you know spreading uh, false information that will uh, uh, bring you out as a plain uh, opposition. You should say uh, uh, things the way they are. The government will come and go. I will leave this seat uh, uh, very soon, and uh, our state will remain. So, all efforts that we're making is uh, to, uh, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, we have... Uh, a state that is secure and prosperous. We you still charge security agency to do more because um, incidents of uh, uh, crime, especially at night during this period, uh, genuinely in some areas seem to be on the rise, sir. Well, uh, 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 yes, yeah, they are. They are stressed by a thing, but we will keep uh, uh, you know, pushing. That. Mm. Uh, and also, uh, I'm certainly expected to uh, uh, come uh, on board. Uh, uh, we're about uh, uh, getting uh, the, the board of uh, uh, the board to oversee I'm attacking you know, all the all the grants. So uh, once we're able to do that, they will also complement. Uh, uh, they will complement the effort of the. Uh, uh, security agencies. And then when I go out at night and I get to go into those communities, some of the things that I'm looking at for is, uh, you know, how are we going to uh, get uh, vigilant people in those communities, you know, to key into the mm. overall uh, uh, strategy of uh, uh, Amatekun. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. I'm happy that you actually uh, raised the issue of uh, Amateko. Uh, uh, media organization, just like Fresh FM too, uh, we're all groaning under this pandemic. We hardly get adverts, we hardly get commercial. And the information is so key uh, to fight this pandemic. We must continually, like we have said, educate our people. Do, do, do you, are you also looking as a government uh, where you could possibly partner and assist uh, the media uh, especially during this period, uh, that uh, we have to work to ensure that uh, we jointly with government defeat Corona in our state. Well, uh, uh, 
I, I, I mean, we as government cannot just think out uh, uh, anything. So mm. we're open to uh, sit down and discuss uh, 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 with uh, uh, media organizations. Mm. Uh, you need to also uh, put together your your thoughts and you know if you have a request and we're dealing with something on the table and say, well, okay. This is a request that uh, has been tabled before us. I think uh, that's a better way to approach this. Uh, I can't just uh, manufacture something. I don't know where the shoe pinches the most. So please make your request to us as, uh, you know, uh, not just as Fresh FM, but, uh, you know, media uh, 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 organizations coming together. And then we have that discussion. That is a good one that you're actually open to uh, helping media organization uh, during this pandemic. Of course, like you have right, uh, uh, requested, we will get across to you to do let you know. We will uh, be drawing this conversation to a close on a lighter note. Uh, our Muslim faithful, they are listening to you now. Uh, uh, Ramadan is here, and um, I want to find out whether I know you always go to uh, homes of um, friends uh, who are also Muslims uh, to break fast with them. She, Deputy Governor, Engineer Raoul Falani, you to break your fast, to break fast with him. Well, uh, I have more moons out to see uh, our brothers at the sisters, they were. They were Muslim. And Muslim, you do do. See one bar, more, 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 or tomorrow, you know, to uh, 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 break the fast with her. Join, uh, yeah, to join her, you know, to uh, to break her fast. Yes, uh, uh, I will uh, definitely at some point uh, uh, before the fasting is over. Uh, you know, this is also the job to go. Now, some notable uh, 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 Muslim uh, uh, leaders, you know, uh, in the state uh, to. Uh, uh, break uh, the fast with them. I mean, uh, I've been to uh, uh, the house of uh, uh, Chief uh, Adiojo to break fast uh, before, uh, uh, and I hope I'll be able to do it uh, also. Uh, with His Excellency uh, Engineer Ralph Olanio. Yes. Finally, yes, will, uh, yes. finally, you have just two minutes to thank organizations, individuals, uh, corporate bodies that have supported your state in this fight through various donations and they also use the platform to ask others that have not done to do so well uh, um, after the, uh, uh, our last uh, meeting uh, we've received uh, uh, cash uh, donation of uh, uh, over 300 million now maybe 330 million we have a meeting at uh, the task force uh, meeting uh, today uh, at uh, 4 p.m. So I'll be getting an update on that. Uh, we have a cash donation of uh, over three, 330 million naira and uh, donation in uh, uh, gift donations of uh, close to, I think, another uh, 70, 80 million naira. Uh, I want to use this uh, opportunity you know, to thank uh, the individuals and organizations you know, that have come to the Head of the Oyo State. I thank you very, very much on behalf of the uh, government. Excellency? Uh, well, I think, uh, I mean, you've taken all my time today. This is uh, uh, one hour, one whole hour. We I must think, really uh, thank you. Uh, I'm sure.